Remington 870 Express Tactical. Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at a shotgun that I admire. I've had it for between six and seven years now. It's called the 870 Express Tactical made by Remington. I think this is a very nice model. It is a tactical model. So it has an 18 and a half inch barrel. And overall, it's been very reliable. Now, a lot of people mistake a few things about Remington. That this came from the Freedom Group. Now, I can acknowledge, as well as many of you, that the Freedom Group essentially sank Remington in a big way. They were around for four to six years, but then Remington Outdoors took over, went back to their old way of doing things, which is of much better quality, and that's when this was made. It's a Remington 870 Express Tactical. It has a door breacher choke on there, and that's for breaching doors. However, it is removable, and it is set for any other Remington choke. So you can put a modified choke in there, which is personally my favorite, a modified choke. It's a in-between from a, a full to a cylinder choke, but it will accept any chokes that will fit the 870 models. This is a six plus one, and one, one of the things you'll notice is that it has a big barrel clamp on there. And that barrel clamp with the extended magazine tube that came from the factory is a six plus one. Makes it pretty nice compared to some of the other models of the same size with a four plus one, five plus one. Another thing this has is excess sight. Now the rear sight is a ghost ring sight with a rail all milled in together into one piece and then it ramped up excess front sight. The front sight can be removed. You can put a night sight on there if you choose. Very easily removed by the way, but I've kept it the way it is. It is a front dot and it, it does well with the ghost ring in the rear. The fore-end action is rather smooth, no problem there. The 870s, by and large, very smooth action, and the fore-end release is right there. The action release lever is in front of the trigger guard, opposed to behind the trigger guard, like a lot of Mossbergs. A steel receiver, not aluminum, it's, it could use some oil, let's just say that. It has some remnants of possible the beginnings of rust. I need to, to oil that down. It spent many years in the safe. But as you can see, it still functions fine. It has a sling mount right there, another one on the magazine tube to run a sling. About a three quarter inch, very tough rubber recoil pad. I love the shotgun. I think that the tactical model is great. It, the, the overall handling of it is all 870, and that is, is what made the 870 popular to begin with. People use it for all types of purposes. This would be primarily a home defense. Yes, you could hunt with it. This is still available to this day. It's not widely available. You'd have to search around for it. I recently saw one that just sold a gun broker for $540. Back when this was first introduced, it was a $600 shotgun. Now you say, well, well that's expensive. Well, how many shotguns do you see that has a rail attached? Most are drilled and tapped for a rail. This has it attached with the ghost ring and a ramped up front sight and a door breacher. That's what makes it a little more special as well as the factory installed extended magazine tube and a heavy duty barrel clamp. Other than that, it's all 870 with the steel receiver, a nice overall trigger. I want to say trigger because I want to mention that the Freedom Group triggers were plastic and that was a major criticism, plastic triggers. I think that's a joke too. This has a all
steel trigger with a polymer trigger guard. I like the shotgun. I actually love the shotgun. I think that Remington has always done a great job with the 870 models and they certainly didn't skip out on the 870 Express Tactical. This is the bio ammo that I'm shooting. It is a high brass load. Goes 1200 and 50 feet per second. Not bad stuff. I've been shooting this quite a bit lately with my shotgun. Uh, my shotgun reviews, I should say. It's been a while since I've had this out. Let me go ahead once again. Yeah, I had four loaded up. Starting to feel it on my shoulder a little bit. And uh, it's actually a comforting feel because it's been a while since I've shot 12 gauge. But I dig it. I really do. I still love this shotgun. Is it the greatest ever? No, it's not, but it's a quality made shotgun. It's a Remington 870 made by Remington Outdoors, not the Freedom Group. I want to emphasize that. Once again, I like the six plus one capacity. Overall shooting impressions are fine. The only thing I have to do now is get some oil on the receiver because I am starting to see remnants of potential rust, but zero on the barrel. The shotgun still performs like it's brand new. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.